What's good YouTube? Welcome to Proctor House Rock Wallers and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to collect, prep, and ship freshly chilled semen. Let's get to it. From the bottom, I know it's hard to believe you can achieve it without them, and they gon' love they doubt it. Better Before we get to collecting some of the semen, uh, I wanted to do a quick unboxing of some of the new items that I grabbed um, to upgrade our semen process um, here at Proctor House Rottweilers. So let's go ahead and dive into these boxes so I can show you guys what I got. So the first thing I'm gonna be unboxing is pretty much just bubble wrap. These are six by four inches. Um, with this bubble wrap right here, nothing's fancy, nothing special. But as you guys can see, it's like a little packet. And with this bubble wrap, I actually got it to put my centrifuge tubes inside of here. Literally, would just wrap it up, tape it down, just to give it a little bit more protection. Um, but let's go ahead and grab the next box. And in this box right here is something I have been waiting on for a very, very long time. Um, not so much waiting for it to get here, but pretty much waiting to order it. Um, I went ahead and ordered a cheaper version of this and it is actually something you want to avoid and I'll explain why in a second, but let's go ahead and get this open. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And right here, what we got is our new LCD digital microscope too. It is made by uh, Celestron, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. But this right here is, I feel like, a mandatory purchase. You guys own a stud, you guys plan on shipping semen out. Um, anything to do with breeding, you definitely want to grab one of these microscopes. Now, the first time I actually seen one of these uh, in person and used this exact microscope, I was actually at my ultrasound tech's house. And also, if you guys are looking to get an ultrasound done and you guys are located in Arizona, be sure to tap in with my people over there at Black and Gold Ultrasound. I can guarantee you they are the best in the valley, hands down. Um, she always gets my number count correct, never misses. Make sure you guys tap in with her. I will post her Instagram somewhere right here. Definitely go check her out. Let her know that Proctor House Rock Wallace sent you when you guys do get your ultrasound. She also does offer more services. But, like I said, this right here is a mandatory thing to have if you guys are going to be a dog breeder and you guys do have a stud and you guys plan on shipping his semen out. Okay. Even if you guys don't plan on shipping any semen out, I still recommend getting one of these because it's always good to be able to analyze uh, your stud semen regardless of how you guys are doing the insemination, whether it be a live breeding, AI, or you're shipping freshly chilled semen out. You still want to be able to analyze that stud semen quality to make sure the semen is actually even good enough to do a breeding with, so you're not wasting your time or a potential client's time when you're doing a breeding. Now really quick, before we start collecting semen from our stud Simba, I wanted to show you guys a couple of microscopes that I did buy, and these are microscopes that you guys want to avoid at all costs if you guys are buying microscopes to analyze semen. First one to avoid is this right here. It's a Tom Love 7 inch digital microscope. This is not a bad quality digital microscope, but the main issue with these microscopes that are like this is that on the base, as you guys can see, there's no lights. Only kind of lights you have is this right here, but you actually need a light to go under so where the microscope lens is at can actually see. Um, I was able to actually get these to work, but I suggest you guys not try to be cheap like I did. Um, now I own three microscopes instead of one good quality one. Um, here goes the third one. Best thing to do is just go ahead and buy the Celestron out the gate, save some of your money. The good thing about it is I'm going to be able to return these because I did order these on Amazon as well as the Celestron. And I will be posting a link to the Celestron microscope um, in the bio. But let's go ahead and get outside so we can start collecting stuff. So here we are. This is our female candy. She is going to be our, uh, what I like to call, cheater female um, while doing the collection. She is currently in heat and she is actually going to be bred to our stud Simba. Just not today. Um... So I just want to give you guys a quick little rundown before we get started, just because I won't be doing a lot of talking while the collection process is going. I like to get hurry up and get done with that part uh, as quickly as possible. So basically what I'm getting ready to do right now is I'm going to stand my female candy up, put Simba right next to her. He's going to hop on the back of her and try to mount her, and I'm going to hold on for dear life. No, that's not what I'm about to do. So once he starts to try to mount her, I'm actually going to grab his um, penis, and we're, what we're trying to do, there's actually a ball that swells up. And you grab behind that ball, and you want to grab it kind of like this, um, and then he's just going to go to town, and then from there, when that ball swells up, that's when you're actually able to collect the scene. I've seen a lot of breeders try to hold on for, you know, a minute or two, and they, you know, get done collecting the semen, and they get to brag and say, oh, my male shot me, you know, 15 or 20 ml. And as you guys will see, 
probably about 75% of that is going to be semen of secretion and not the actual um, good semen that you guys want. Now that we got some of the semen collected, we are not in a rush, but we are watching the time because we have about 30 minutes um, until this semen starts to die. So the first thing we're going to do is grab our syringe and AI tube. We're going to go ahead and grab this semen out of here and put it into one of our centrifuge tubes. And we actually got a decent amount of semen from Simba, especially since we've been collecting him this week because we are getting ready to do the breeding um, between him and Candy. You guys are wondering why I do collect uh, before I do my breedings. Let me know in the comments and I will do a video on that as well. Um, but here we go. So as of right now, you want to close the top. Simba gave us about two and a half mLs with a little less than 30 second hold um, while we were collecting his semen. So here is our centrifuge machine and I use a centrifuge machine so I can actually spin the semen down so I can separate the seminal secretion from the actual semen. So what we're going to do here is put this in number one. And what you want to do is make sure you have another centrifuge tube in there with the same amount of liquid um, as the actual semen cap so it's actually balanced. And there we go. We got this filled with water. I'm going to throw this on the other side. Make sure these are closed tight so we have no spillage. And what you want to do is go ahead and put this at roughly 1500 RPMs and we're going to spin it down for seven minutes. Okay, that's seven minutes, and we're spinning at 15, 1500 RPMs. So while we're spinning that semen down, I wanted to go over semen extender. This is the basic extender that comes with almost every shipping box. But with this semen extender, all it basically is is nutrition and food for the semen to actually live during the time of transportation. And I know the question that all you guys are asking is how much semen extender is needed um, during a collection. Well, that actually depends on how much semen um, your stud gives you. So basically where you want to be at is a 4 to 1 ratio, meaning if you have 1 ml of semen, you need to have 4 ml of semen extender. And one thing you guys weren't able to see was actually me mixing the semen extender up. Basically when you guys open your semen shipping kit, um, it's going to come with a bottle, something similar to this, with liquid and there's going to be a little packet with powder. All you're going to do is pour that powder into the bottle of liquid, mix it up just like this, and the semen extender is ready to go. But as you guys just heard, our centrifuge machine is done. So let's go see what we got. So what you guys are looking at right now, if you see that white little pellet, that is going to be the rich semen. The rest of this liquid is really just semen secretion. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is grab my syringe, take out roughly a mil and a half so we can get down to one mL of semen. So we can go ahead and throw in our four mL of semen extender. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the microscope so you guys can see how my boy Simba is swimming. So here we are, 20 minutes post collection. Um, as you guys can see, my boy Simba has some swimmers. Everything is swimming straight. Nothing is swimming in circles. There's no double tails. There's no oddball looking se uh, semen in there. Like I said, it is 20 minutes post collection, so we do have some of the semen um, starting to die off. I did not add the semen uh, extender inside of this uh, screen right here, but I just wanted to show you guys what you guys are looking for. As you guys can see, all of this semen is swimming straight, straight, straight. Nothing is going in circles. You guys can look very closely. Um, there is no double tails. Nothing abnormal looking about this semen right here. Um, there's probably there's a big one coming across the screen that was actually dying off. But as you guys can see, we have some swimmers here. So now it's time to go ahead and add the extender so we can actually start the ship. So now that we got that added in there, what I'll go ahead and do, close this top, give it a little shake, and now it is ready to be shipped. So here we go. We got our shipping box, our semen. We got two ice packs, bubble wrap to go inside, AI kit, and let's get to it. So basically what you want to do is grab some tape and tape off this top part. Even though it has a screw lock secure, um, it's always like to tape it just in case you just never know what um, can happen during shipment. We're going to throw it in this little bubble meller. I'm going to wrap this up. We're going to tape this as well. So now that we got this taped up, you actually want to grab your two ice packs. We're going to throw this in the middle. Now, it's very important to have this bubble wrap just because you don't want the ice packs directly on the bottle. Um, from here, what I'll do is just tape these together. So now that we got our semen taped to our ice packs, um, what we're going to do is to go ahead and throw in some paper towel to go around it and make sure it stays up. And this is actually a trick that I learned from another YouTuber. Um, from there, I'll go ahead and throw in my AI kit, 
fresh syringe, some gloves, alcohol pads, and some lube, and you are good to go. And then from here, all I would do is close the box up, tape it up, write Simba's name on there, throw a Proctor House Rottweiler sticker on the box, head down to FedEx and have his overnight ship directly to your doorstep or your vet. With that being said, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And when you guys do subscribe, be sure to hit that bell to turn on all post notifications to get notified when we do drop our videos, as well as give us a follow on Instagram and TikTok, as well as a like on Facebook, all at Proctor House Rottweilers. And we are out. Take a lift from the bottom. I know it's hard to believe you can achieve it without them. And they gon' love though they doubt it. Better have stamina.